All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first ever installment of Lyric Time with your boy CMB. And today we will be talking about home. The first thing that came with home was the hook. I really want to go home. My wife and I were dating. We were camping. We were in Big Sur on the side of the road and jokingly she was like I want to go home and we both had a good laugh about it and then in my my brain as soon as those words hit I really want to go uh, 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 that just popped into my head so I had that hook and then my wife got in a car accident a pretty gnarly car accident and that's essentially where the first verse picks up my lady went spinning head over heels can't keep her down those were literal lyrics because she went spinning her car spun she went head over heels because her car flipped and you can't keep her down because she was still she was the strong little being when i came up to her through her tears she was grinning knowing your angels kept her safe and sound she was obviously in shock but she she still had her spirits high enough to be able to smile about it people stopping and staring glass like diamonds on the ground her windows were busted out the glass was sparkling everywhere in the sunlight people obviously passing by seeing this wreck stopping and staring i wear my heart on my skin a light shines better when darkness is around with her eyes she looked at me with her lips she whispered quietly i want to go home I figured if I'm if I'm being personal and sharing a personal story about her, I need to also share one about myself that is equally as traumatic. Second verse. I got the call on a someday saying the worst of it was true. So, I don't know if you saw my last video, but I basically talk about getting cancer and getting that call. And that's what that's about. I got that call on a someday and they told me that the worst of it was true. You do have a very aggressive uh, form of skin cancer. I wear my scars like a tattoo. Feeling sorry for yourself is a waste of fuel. I always wanted to get tattoos, but I just haven't gotten them. And then I started collecting scars <laughs> and uh, they cost more than tattoos. Scars remind me that you are stronger than what challenge do. They remind me to be healthy and mindful in my life. I kept to reading and writing mind over body for many moons. I had plenty of months for healing. I couldn't I couldn't move uh, this left arm higher than this. I basically just had to go walk around and try and stay as active as I could, but more so than anything, I was reading and I was writing. I tried solving the universe and I found out that the answer is what you choose to believe. I was reading all kinds of books about the mind and consciousness. I just basically came to that conclusion that life is literally what you choose to believe it is. In that moment, so peacefully, a little thought it spoke to me I really want to go home after I came to the conclusion that life is literally what you choose to believe it to be that thought was like I really want to go home this place is not my home I want to know what is beyond and that was a pretty heavy moment it's not like I wanted to die I wanted to commit suicide I wanted to leave this life I just really looked forward to that peace that death does bring to us as humans and then the chorus hits again home it's where i'm seen it's where i'm known where i fill my heart and i rest these bones where my hopes and dreams are free to grow with another soul we found hope on the dance floor we uh my wife and i met on the dance floor at our our good friend's wedding the memory of home in our first kiss my wife was the first time i kissed somebody and it felt right life gives what you intend for and you fit me so specific it's a daily trip i think that's self-explanatory life gives what you intend for what are you intending to get out of life she calls me king midas i can't keep my hands off my golden queen my wife calls me king midas from time to time i think that perspective comes and goes i love the idea of the imagery of if I've got the golden touch, baby, then you're golden because my hands are all over you. We are loving what we're creating. What glitters is gold, if so perceived. Just on the metaphor of like gold and pyrite. Just because pyrite looks like gold doesn't mean that it is gold. And just because gold looks like pyrite doesn't mean that it's pyrite. But if somebody that you love 
gives you the pyrite, it can still feel as if it's gold. What glitters is gold if it's perceived to be that way. You put the meaning in everything. Humans put the meaning into everything. We got us the whole world to see, but when we're apart, my heart, it says to me, I want to go home. Um, so yeah, I want to go home. And that's the end of the song. So that concludes our first ever lyric time featuring the song Home. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for suggesting this song. And if you have any other songs of mine that you would like to know the lyrics and the story behind, please drop a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoy any of the stuff that I'm putting out, like, subscribe, all of those things. Otherwise, have a beautiful day and uh, cheers. Coffee. Coffee-fee. Coffee-fee.